Lots of things happening in the River City this week. Let's start with the Warren County Board of Supervisors meeting this past Monday where two topics were huge news. The first item on their agenda was the apology to be printed in the Vicksburg Post for those incorrectly listed as part of the Warren County tax sale which will happen on August 31st. Warren County tax collector Antonia Flags Jones argued that printing names in the newspaper again could open up the possibility for more mistakes to be made and could cause some people further embarrassment. The Board of Supervisors, however, turned down Flags Jones' recommendation and voted 3-2 to two to print the names of those they felt deserved an apology. The last item on the agenda at the board meeting was the return of more than a quarter million dollars of Warren County taxpayer money. State Auditor Stacy Pickering hand-delivered a check for a little more than $279,000 as part of the bond that Shelley Ashley Palmertree paid during her trial. Officials from the city of Vicksburg cut the ribbon at the newly renovated walking trail at City Park on Wednesday. Representatives from My Brother's Keeper, the organization that fully funded the project, were there as well. The hope is that the improvements being made to City Park will help the citizens of Vicksburg make healthier choices about life and help them become more active outdoors. Friday night was the first night of high school football. There was a great turnout for the Red Carpet Bowl, but the Vicksburg Gators were the only team of the city's four to come away victorious on opening weekend. And one last news item, there's been a homicide in the River City. 41-year-old Mac Vaughn is dead from stab wounds he sustained in a physical altercation early Saturday morning. Vicksburg police have arrested 50-year-old Bernard Brown in connection with the case. He'll make his initial appearance in Vicksburg Municipal Court on Monday, August 24th. The seven-day forecast looks really clear this week with a slight chance for some late afternoon thunderstorms early in the week. Highs throughout the week should remain around 90 with lows in the middle to upper 60s. Now let's wrap up this week in Vicksburg with a look at events going on in the River City over the next seven days. Check out the Vicksburg National Military Park for free on Tuesday in celebration of the National Park Service's Founders Day and then head over to LD's Kitchen at 8 p.m. for the smooth blues of Soul and Sounds Unlimited. The Warren County Public Library will be hosting story time on Tuesday and Wednesday morning at 10 30 a.m and speaking of the warren county public library vicksburg mayor george flags will be hosting a town hall meeting wednesday evening from 5 30 to 6 30 hang out at the hangar on wednesday for lunch the monthly luncheon for the southern heritage air foundation will be held at the museum hangar located at the vicksburg tallulah regional airport for more information visit southernheritageair.org every wednesday evening from 6 30 to 7 30 the coral room is the location of beginners yoga classes offered up by fawn francis of the secret garden spa for more information call the spa at 868- 0871. Have some great karaoke fun at the historic Klondike Trading Post every Wednesday through Saturday starting at 8 p.m. Ameristar Casino provides music fans two ways to get entertained every single weekend. New Corp will be playing in the Cabaret Lounge beginning at 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. And Eddie Cotton will be taking the stage at the Bottleneck Blues Bar at Ameristar at 9 p.m. in celebration of the blues with the Vicksburg Blues Society's Heritage Music Series. Diamond Jacks will play home to the Electric News on Friday and Saturday nights. Beachwood Restaurant and Lounge will light up Saturday night when the Jason Miller Band takes their stage. The second weekend of the Governor's Cup Baseball Tournament happens Friday through Sunday at Halls Ferry Park. The Mississippi River Nature Weekend at Terra Wildlife happens this weekend. Visit terrawildlife.com or call 601-279-4261. The stage at the Southern Cultural Heritage Foundation will light up on Saturday beginning at 6 p.m. with their Raise the Roof Talent Competition Preliminary Round. For more information, visit southernculture.org or call 601-631-2997. The Vicksburg Coin Club is proudly presenting the 90th Annual Vicksburg Coin Show this Saturday and Sunday at Riverwalk Casino. And one thing we'll remind you about next Sunday morning, the Vicksburg Blues Challenge kicks off next Sunday from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Ameristar's Bottleneck Blues Bar. The winners of the last two Vicksburg Blues Challenge have gone on to win the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee. And that's a wrap on This Week in Vicksburg. I'm Chris Whittington for Vicksburg. VicksburgDailyNews.com. News by the community for the community.